the moment she entered the classroom, the atmosphere changed because she was a rather famous beautiful girl called the Ice Queen. Together with the fact that she is well respected, no male students would go up to her spontaneously. Just thinking about confessing and getting dumped immediately, I guess no one would approach her readily. Well then, I will give you the assignments now and you guys are in no position to refuse. As long as you are in my class, you will have to follow my instructions. In the morning, our homeroom teacher was standing in front of the podium. She looks around the class with a dignified demeanor. On top of that, she has a piece of paper in her hand. From now on, I will ask you guys to do the assignments in pairs. First of all, draw the lots in this box. Listen, no matter what the result is, no complaints, okay? Sensei has been making some wild statements since this early morning. However, since it happened every time, all I can say was that it couldn't be helped. Come to think of it, today was that day. I, Ayumu Nakamura, think so. Now that the school is finished, there is a place I need to go. I put the necessary bare minimum stuff in my bag and headed for the bus stop near the school. Man, sis, how could you do this to me? This is way too sudden for me. I don't think she's ever considered my circumstances at all. On top of that, during this week, I got an assignment from my homework teacher that I have to do. I wonder if I can do well this week. Okay then, I'm counting on you. I got it. I nodded with a sense of helplessness, and I end up looking after my niece. A week from today, okay? A week? Yeah, that's right. My business trip got extended. But it doesn't matter, right? Or perhaps you got someone you're dating now? It's not like that. Then it's not a problem if you don't have one, right? Okay then, I'm leaving her to you. I got it. Buy me some souvenirs if there are any, okay? I will think about it. Saying that, my sister locked the door and left early. Okay, shall we go to my place? Hmm. My niece, Yuina Shimizu, nodded with a big smile. I decided to take her hand and headed for the bus stop I came from just now. When we reach the house, let's play origami. Origami? Hmm, I've become much better than before. My niece cheerfully told me a lot of things. I learned to do this too. She took out a new origami work that she had folded recently from her small bag and showed it to me. She has improved compared to last year. I stroke her head. Right, when we are together, can I call you Papa? Uh, why? Because you look like Papa. She says excitedly. But... It's okay, right? She shows me her pure, innocent eyes and snuggles up to me. But because she's cute, I started to feel like everything was fine. It's not bad to be called Papa by such a cute niece. That's how I felt. Meanwhile, the bus stops, and a person boarded the bus. Thinking of who it might be, I looked up and there stood a girl I knew, and I was taken aback. What's wrong, Papa? Hey, don't call me. I'm frustrated. If it comes to this, I just have to go on with my life without her noticing. That's how I devised my strategy, but somehow, it seemed difficult. At that instant, unfortunately, I made contact with the Ice Queen. I realized it was over. Papa? A line from my niece was basically the signal that would lead my life to its end. Eh? Papa? The Ice Queen showed a surprised face at what my niece said. Hey, what? What do you mean? The Ice Queen, who usually showed a calm demeanor, suddenly shortened our distance. In front of me stands the school's beautiful girl. I didn't know how to respond, and I was driven into awkwardness and embarrassment. Customer, the bus is leaving now, so could you please take a seat? The bus driver said it in an announcement. The ass queen grasped the current situation as if startled, and cleared her throat lightly. Excuse me. She said that, and for some reason, she sat next to me on my right. What is the meaning of this? I'm listening. As the bus started to move, she asked me again in an upset tone. That's... What would be the correct way to respond? We'll talk about it later. I said it even if I hesitated. Not later. Say it now. The Ice Queen showed me her grim face. My heart skips a beat when I see her expression. I've never seen her with such an aggressive look. I found that look attractive. Moreover, the smell of her clothes tickles my nostrils. I felt that today was an exciting day in many ways. So... 
I want to ask you about your relationship with this kid. We reached home. I was forced to sit on my knees in the living room. So I decided to talk calmly about the circumstances. You two look like my mama and papa. My niece looked at me and the Ice Queen alternatively and gave her blunt opinion. With those words, Ice Queen's expression turned bright red in a blink of an eye. This kid is my older sister's kid. Um, my niece, to put it simply. R really At this rate, I'm likely to be judged by her, so I'll tell her everything. She seemed to finally have grasped the situation and was showing me her blank look. So that's what it was. I, I got it. I was relieved to see her expression. Then I am going to live in this house. <laughs> I'm saying I am going to live together with you. Huh? <laughs> um, uh, why? Her shocking statement throws my mind into a state of confusion. Question marks kept popping up in my mind. Mm, it's about what happened yesterday. Next day after school, when I was in the classroom, the Ice Queen started talking to me. At that moment, the people around me are shocked. After all, she is a beautiful girl who is famous for not opening her heart to most people. I don't think it's a good idea to talk here. Shall we talk in another place? I would really appreciate that. I left the classroom and guided her to another place. By the way, what are you having for dinner? Don't you think it's too early to ask that? Not at all. Only a few hours left, right? Yeah, but... But why do you want to talk about dinner? Since we're going to live together, we have to divide roles, right? I see. You are right. I started living together with her since yesterday. It was a situation other people would envy. But spending time with her makes me nervous in many ways. As for the reason we decided to live together, it has something to do with the assignments that our homer teacher gave us yesterday. That's to think about the future in pairs of boys and girls. When you think about the future, there is going to college, getting a job, getting married, and so on. There are many others as well. That's why the Ice Queen was earnestly planning to write a report on the life of a newlywed. If you are going to do it, better to put it into action. That was the conclusion drawn from the Ice Queen. And also, who is going to pick up that kid? Are you going to do it? That was my plan, though. Got it. Then I'm leaving her to you. The Ice Queen spoke of the facts in a frank manner. Somehow, we are like a married couple, giving each other roles. What? It's not like that. Don't say weird things. Well, this is just for the sake of the assignments. D don't get that part wrong. The Ice Queen retorted bluntly. After she said what she wanted to say, she quickly left the place. I brought dinner. The Ice Queen comes to my house after school. She put the shopping bag on the table. What are you going to do? She asked me. I'll look after my niece. I said back. Got it. Thanks. When she said that, she didn't even turn around. And after checking the inside of the shopping bag, she took it and moved to the kitchen. I wonder what kind of dishes she is going to make. While thinking about that, I was playing origami with my niece in the living room. Folding origami after a long while is fun. At first, I wondered what would happen. But now that we have assigned our roles respectively, I feel at ease. Mm. Doesn't it smell? Eh? Yes, it does. I wonder why. It's coming from the kitchen. Hmm. I wonder why. Is it? Feeling suspicious, me and my niece hurried to the kitchen. You... You okay? Hmm. Mm. In the kitchen, I saw her getting flustered after failing to make dishes. Apparently, she wasn't that good at cooking. Okay, I will take it from here. I'm sorry. She apologized profusely. I say with much thoughtfulness that it's alright. Afterwards, she left the kitchen with my niece. I remained in the kitchen and got to look around for ingredients that can be used. What should I make for dinner? I'm trying to do the best I can right now. Then, after collecting the necessary bare minimum of cooking utensils and ingredients, I immediately started cooking. Thank you for the meal. She finished her dinner with a smile. Looks like it was delicious. It's good that I can cook, but it was surprising that the Ice Queen, who can do everything, couldn't cook. The Ice Queen looked after my niece even after dinner. I could put my mind at ease knowing that she could take good care of her. I head to the kitchen with the dishes to clean up. I decided to have them play in the living room. Um, where did they go? When I finished cleaning up and returned to the living room, they were nowhere to be found. Maybe they went to the second floor? 
Thinking, if I have the time to spare, why not take a bath early? I headed towards the dressing room. However, that was my biggest mistake. The moment I opened the door to the dressing room, I regret it. Because there she was, completely naked. I was stiff at the loss for words at the current situation that I couldn't make any excuses. Well, hey, well, why did you just come in like that? A loud voice can be heard from the high-pitched ice queen that you usually don't hear. She stares at me, and I'm not able to do anything and hurriedly close the door. I think this is a mistake on my part. A few minutes later, she came out of the dressing room. However, it's pretty embarrassing. Two of us in the living room? I have my niece rest early. Now that the two of us are alone, we are facing each other across the table. What should we talk about? S so, about the assignment. The Ice Queen, Kazumi Tachibana, got down to business. It's probably because it's awkward to stay silent forever, I guess? Okay. I suppressed my awkward emotions as much as possible, and reacted by nodding. About the report on the assignment that Sensei gave us, how do you think we should do it? What do you mean? So, I'm thinking of doing something like the life of a newlywed, but should I write it as it is? N newlywed? I... I am writing the report under that premise. Don't ask too much about it, okay? With her cheek bright red, she pointed out bluntly. So, what are your thoughts on the future? You... The Ice Queen begins to break the silence. That's... I'm at a loss for words. Because I haven't given much thought to being newlywed. I'm thinking as long as we can live normally, it'll be fine. Just that? Nothing more? Anything you want from being newlywed? It's not like there is none, though. I just think having a normal life is better. As long as you have a family like any others. And also, as long as we can spend the time with the people we care about. People we care about? She was looking down a bit, and was about to say a word, but she quickly shut her mouth. Well, it means that that's how you think. The Ice Queen seems to have accepted and agreed with this way of thinking. However, unlike before, Kazumi's expression softened a little bit. Seeing her like that, I began to embrace her cuteness. Um, pretty much like this. She has finished writing down everything about the life of a newlywed on that report paper that was to be submitted. I'll ask you to confirm just in case, but it's fine like this, right? She shows me the paper she wrote down. It was beautifully written and very easy to read. This time, I am writing a report with the Ice Queen, Kazumi Tachibana. However, until the day before the day of submission, we decide to continue writing alternately about things related to the life of a newlywed. The submission deadline is next week. We still have time. Even if it's about the life of a newlywed, it's not something that can be replayed in the head and written down immediately. I think it would be quicker to ask my sister directly about this type of thing. But my sister was working somewhere far away, so I couldn't ask her immediately. That's why, I decided to write about what we thought about while living together every day, honestly. Hey, how do you feel about that big sis? Why do you ask all of a sudden? Because it seems like you two are getting along well. My niece, who is sitting next to me, starts talking to me aggressively. Besides, Kazumi was on the other side of the table. Hey. What? I shivered at her query and looked at her. I have something I want to tell you. Something you want to tell me? I like you. Yeah? You didn't get it, did you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize and reply back. I couldn't believe it and went stunned. What do you really think? I mean, I do see you as a girl, but she is the girl I originally wanted to date. However, I didn't expect it would suddenly turn out like that. We were living together. And it's not like I didn't show affection for her at all. As of now, my heart was pounding uncontrollably. And to be honest, I also liked her. Enough. Enough that I'd been wanting to confess to her for a long time. However, I was worried about the gazes from other people at the school. And I didn't have the chance to confess. I was living my life like that. But that ended today. Papa, you like the big sis, right? Yeah. I thought it was just the two of us in the room, and before I knew it, my niece has entered the room. My niece is still in the first grade of elementary school, but she seems to know something about love. She really is my sister's daughter. I thought she was advanced for her age. Well, I'll have you submit the assignments that I gave you last week today. You all have it done, right? Monday after the weekend, during the morning HR session, the voice of our homeroom teacher standing in front of the podium echoes. Other students didn't look too good. However, Together with the fact that me and Kazumi have finished the assignments, 
We looked bright. The two of us created a report based on the theme of life of a newlywed. With confidence, I got up from my seat instead and submitted it to Sensei. Mm, that face. Looks like you have done it. That's what was told to me by Sensei standing in front of the blackboard. Tomorrow after school. This time, I think these two have written the best reports ever. The home teacher standing on the podium has made a solemn declaration. Being evaluated by Sensei. Again, I think I'm glad I did it properly. We both felt our hard work has paid off. Kazumi also showed her smile a little bit. I think it's rare for her to reveal her emotions like that, since she always shows nothing but a cold demeanor. But I felt at ease with her attitude. I think she has changed the most lately. I decided to go out with Kazumi and kept it a secret from my classmates. It's not like we have to fully understand each other's feelings, but from now on, little by little, we will understand each other's feelings. That's why I held her hand when she was walking next to me. Wh what All of a sudden... Her cheeks were bright red. It's fine, right? We are dating, after all. I mean, yeah, but... She is stuttering. She was cute. But we're just holding hands. She said in a meaningful tone. Gradually, I think the clear ice that was covering her body is gone. I felt like I have thawed the ice in her heart. The day has finally come for my niece to go back. Thursday. After school, as soon as I arrived at my house, I was about to head to the house where my sister lived with my niece. When me and my niece are putting on our shoes to the entranceway, the intercom rings. I thought it was Kazumi who had returned, but I was wrong. At the door to the entranceway was my sis. Sorry, something came up at work again, so can you look after her for another week? And also, this is the souvenir. Saying that, I got a big bag for my sis. She looks like she is very busy. Okay then, I will leave the rest to you. She is about to leave the entranceway. At that moment, Kazumi came to my house. As soon as my sis saw her, she stiffened in surprise. Huh? Could it be that she is your girlfriend? It, yeah. Eh? Really? Yeah, I said proudly. Don't you think she is too good for you? That... that's not true. I acted tough. Well, good luck, in many ways. She said it with a smirk, and perhaps she read the atmosphere. She left the place. So, you ended up continuing to look after her? Yeah. Then, can I also continue to stay here? It's fine with me, though. She was very aggressive. If you two are still together, I want to go to this place. Where? Where? Me and Cosme asked my niece in harmony. Amusement park. I see. Then, we shall go on the next day off? When I say that, my niece smiles. Cosme is standing nearby, and she shows me a smile. I thought she was beautiful rather than cute. I'm not married yet, but for the sake of my loved ones, I decided to do the best I could. <laughs>